and um, go down to week two if you haven't already. Um, the first thing I want to go over uh, or remind you guys is that you should be reading the wave. Um, you don't have to go out and buy it. I went over this last week. You do not have to go out and buy the novel. There's a PDF version um, right here for you. You can click on that and start reading. It's a really short novel. It's not very long. Um, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about The Wave before, um, if you haven't already started reading. If you have, that's great. If you haven't, well, I'm just going to give you kind of a... Um, summary i guess you could say it is actually a true story i'm about a teacher in the um 60s or so somewhere around there i don't remember um but he was teaching his class about um world war ii he was a history teacher and he was teaching his class about um germany and the nazis and hitler and all that good stuff um, or bad stuff rather. Um, anyway, so he was going over that and um, his his students started to ask questions, you know, like why didn't other Germans that weren't Nazis stand up to the Nazis? Why did they just let them, um, you know, control everything? And he starts an experiment on them um and it goes a little too far and so it's really good it's a short read you probably get it you know if you sat down and read it um you could probably get it read in, in an hour hour and a half tops um if you're one that likes to read anyway so you should be reading that um on thursday you're going to have a quiz on the wave and um i think it's only chapters one through four or five but um I'd go ahead and have at least half the book read. Um, other than that, today we're going to go um, start reading New Dis uh, Directions, and that's by Maya Angelou. Um, so there's a, um, a video that I want you to watch that's of her biography, and then there's a discussion question to answer after. I'm going to remind you that... Um, when you, you know, for most of you, I know that when you're clicking on the assignments or dis discussion questions and things like that on this, um, this page here is asking you to log in again. So to avoid all of that, remember to go down to week two assignments and it will be there. It will just, um, it'll say, uh, you know, my Angelou discussion or something like that. Um, you can read new discussions or listen. I highly suggest uh, that you do both. Um, at least listen because um, in it, I go over some of the figurative language in it. Um, I go over a lot of the important things in it that you'll need to know for your quiz. Um, so um, I highly suggest you, you know, if you like to read, that's fine. If you want it to be read to you, because I'm actually, you know, I have a, it's a video. Um, and it's me reading and explaining and things like that. Um, then there's a discussion question and also some flashcards for you. So that's for you today. Um, I'd like for you to wait till tomorrow to do the quiz. But if you want to do it today, that's fine. I'm not sure if it'll open, though, until tomorrow, honestly. I think you have to wait till tomorrow to take it. Um, but know that there is a time limit on it. So once you begin taking it, you have to finish it. There is no, you know, going to start taking it and then stop and go do this and go do that and come back and do it. Once you start, you cannot stop and it is timed. If you don't finish all the questions, then you just don't and you'll get those wrong. Um, so make sure that you know the story before you take that quiz um, and it will be a grade. Does anybody have any questions for me? Somebody say something. There are 22 of you in here, so somebody has to say something. <laughs> 